What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. In this video, we are going to go over a couple things. Um, we are going to go over the market. Guys, because tomorrow, today's already Thursday. Where is the week going by? It's absolutely insane. So we're going to go over the market. We're going to see if it's crashed. Tomorrow, there should be a little premature market crash. Some point today, 2K will start releasing the stuff that is going to come out tomorrow. So we're going to have a little bit of market crash today. Maybe even a bigger market crash tomorrow. So get ready. We're going to go over the market. I think it's time to sell your teams before the market keeps going down and down and down. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, sub it up. 14,000 subs. The more subs, the more likes, the more giveaways. We will do get. We'll do giveaways. So comment down below. I'll answer your comment. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know down below. If you guys do need MT, make sure to hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on both Instagram and Twitter for Xbox and PS4. Um, we're just going to get right into this. I'll show you the lineup I've been running on Unlimited. I literally don't understand why my Xbox turns off so much. My Xbox has been turning off every time I touch an Unlimited game. This is my cheese lineup. I'm running a five-man squad with Seth Curry. It is so damn cheese. I It's crazy. But this is my cheese squad. Lamelo Ball is an absolute dog. So is this Kemba. Seth Curry's better than Steph in this game as of right now. But anyways, I hope we get a Giannis tomorrow. I really hope we get a Giannis tomorrow because that's the one person I'm missing on the squadron. Um, but anyways, we're gonna go over this market. Let's see if Dwayne Wade is still a buyout. If he's not, that's pretty crazy because he was a buyout yesterday. Oh my god, I keep on putting in Dean Wade. Dean Wade's pretty goaded. Here we go, Diamond Wade. Alright, so Diamond Wade's still a buyout. Alright, this is what's going to happen. I think the Diamond market's going to come crashing down. Sooner or later, there's going to be a couple pink diamonds coming out. As you guys know, in 25 days, the Carmelo Anthony pink diamond comes out. Um, I think if you have your diamonds, if you have LeBron, if you have Wade, whatever, I would say sell one of them. Because I think it makes the most sense. I would definitely try selling your Wade. I would definitely see the market coming down. Coming crashing down before it's too late. So get ready to sell your cards. I highly recommend it. Next up, we got Carl Anthony Towns. Here's some players I'm going over because um, I feel like they're used a lot. So Carl Anthony Towns is actually around the same price. I can see his price honestly going up. I'm just going to hold on to my Carl Anthony Towns. I don't think it would crash much more from here. But definitely keep your eyes on it. It might crash a little more. I just don't think I'm at this center. But these stats could come crashing down. He's just too good. Um, so definitely keep your eyes on him. Um, I think Shaq comes to a buyout because he can't really shoot the ball. Centers that could shoot have a lot more value right now because centers that could shoot, um, that's big. That's really big. Let's go over to Ruby Filter. Let's see if Rudy Gobert went up in price. He's probably going to come crashing down tomorrow. Rudy Gobert is still expensive. I mean, still really cheap. Um, it's not really worth the investment. I'm telling you guys, today is a day to sell your team. Today is not a day to really, if you have a lot of MT, fine, don't sell your team. But I would sell my team if I were you. I'm probably going to sell, I don't really have that much of this stuff to sell. But we're going to get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a really, really big day, guys. Like a really, really big day. I'm super excited. We're going to have some content. Maybe LeBron, I'm uh, not LeBron, maybe Giannis, maybe Curry, maybe Kevin Durant. I like what they did this year. They made Sapphires. So now they can release more current day players on the drops. Which, in my opinion, is absolutely huge to the game. Current day drops is huge. Makes people want to play the game. 2K did a really good job with that this year. When current day players drop, market crashes happen. Last week, LeBron James and Wade crashed the market. Um, big names. Big names, LeBron and Wade. They also had a Bosch. Chris Bosch is a big name, in my opinion, as well. A center that could shoot on the big three. They're dropping hype content. Hype content creates market crashes. Let's see. Chris Bosch is still not a buyout. I don't think he'll be a buyout for a little bit because he could actually shoot the ball very, very well. And who doesn't like Bosch? I freaking love Bosch. Bosch is a beast. So Chris Bosch is not a buyout yet. I think he'll be a buyout soon. Even all these primetime cards, these primetime packs are a little rigged. Not going to lie. Um, let's go over the Amethyst. Let's see. After this, we're going to go over to Diamond Contracts. Amethysts are up a ton, guys. It's time to sell. It's time to sell. Especially if you have some legend Amethyst, man, you gotta get rid of them before it's too late. You just can't hold on to Amethyst legends. They just continuously drop in value, and they're just they're just not worth it. Um, as you guys can see, 2K has been releasing some amazing sapphires. Gerald Wallace, Darren Fox. I think more people will want Gerald Wallace and Darren Fox. They're way more usable than some of those legends. Same with this Blake and Carlin Towns. 
they're both absolute beasts i really really do recommend you guys just please try selling your team today let me know if it works out let's check out blake's price blake's price is crashing down it was at 24,000 MT not too long ago. Look at that, 17,000 MT. So Blake's price at 17K is pretty damn good if you ask me. Um, I might throw him in my lineup. He's so good offensively. He's going to change your games. Except I like Ben Simmons. I don't know, this Ben Simmons card, he has a low overall and he plays just like, ba just like Blake. Except Ben Simmons can't shoot at all. Um, but that's right now. That's what I'm thinking. I think this is pretty good news. Let's go over diamond contracts. I think the market's still high. So I'm making this video before the market crashes. I would sell some of your team. Definitely try sniping out diamond contracts. This will make you lots of MT. Diamond contracts were at like 18,000 at a point. They're up to 26,000 MT. So if you guys want, definitely try sniping out diamond contracts. I think you have a really, really good general idea of making some MT off this. Next up, we got event cards. This is pretty cool too. You go over to Ruby, you go over to Buyout. We got Wade, we got Bird, we got LeBron. Wade and Bur Wade and LeBron are no longer buyouts, which is absolutely crazy. Now you can check out Sapphire. Blake and Carlini Towns are really cheap. I think you can get some consistent snipes on them, though. Because since they're so cheap, that means they're not rare at all. So if you literally just refresh over here, it's annoying because you can't really refresh. Let's see, put your thing to like 1900 Sapphire and just refresh, see what's going on. There's a lot of Blakes, there's a Carlini Towns. If you see it for like 1500, maybe less, try to snipe it out. Let's see, let's go back over. This is a pretty good snipe filter. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. 1500 for Blake and Cat. So you could probably buy all these, resell them for two, make 300 a piece, quick 1200 MC. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, Devil, you could try to refresh that. And the Emerald one's really not worth it. It's T Ross and Rudy Gobert. So, as of right now, market's pretty high. I would try to, re I really do recommend selling before it is too late. You don't want to get screwed with your own players. You really just don't. So, with that being said, let me think. That's pretty much all we have. One more player I want to go over Fred Van Fleet. His price went to the moon. His jump shot's cash. Fred Van Fleet is so expensive. 28,000 MT guys. I got this card for 13k. If you invested in him, you doubled your money, which is insane cuz 14k to 28k or 13k to 28k. I sniped that one for 9k. I just don't believe how expensive this card is, even though he's absolutely insane. His defense is amazing and his shooting is amazing. So like I understand why, but yo, that's really all we got for the video. I think I want to pop one pack of Ruski. We're gonna pop one primetime pack and we're gonna end this video, guys. That's gonna be it for the video. Let's see what we get. Ah, uh, Sapphire. Alright, whatever. Uh, Alright, yo, that's gonna be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys are doing to make MT. Have a good one, boys. Peace.